Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic relations, mapping and functions. In previous videos, we've considered relations and mapping. In this video, we are going to look at the last part which is functions. So what's a function? A function is a mapping in which each element in the domain map onto one and only one member in the codomain. We looked at mapping in the previous video. So for a function, each element in the domain will map onto one and only one member in the codomain. So each element in the domain will have only one image in the codomain. Just as it is for mapping, Functions are also defined by a rule or a formula. So in a function, we will be given a rule or a formula. Then using that rule or a formula, we can find images of elements. Or member, we can find images or, of elements or images of members in the domain. Now, a function of x is written as f is to x or f into bracket x and this is this is read as f of x so f into bracket x is read as f of x this is also read as f of x so a function of x is usually written as f is to x or f into bracket x and it's read as f of x remember you can use any letter in place of f here so it can be g of x it can be h of x but because it's a function we usually use the letter f so you are going to see f most of the time examples are so you have f of x is equal to x plus 2 so this is a function of x that is why we have x here we have g of a this is a function of a so you see that the variable here is a we have f of n this is a function of n so we have that's why we can see n here so f of n is equal to n raised to the power 3 minus 4n plus 2 so under functions we are usually going to be given the rule or the formula then we will be told to find images of elements in the domain sometimes the images will be given to us and we, are, we will be told to find the elements in the domain that maps onto that image let's pick some examples and see how this is done so we have quite a number of questions here we have about four of them take note of it we are going to solve it one after the other let's pick the first one we are told to find the image of negative one under f of x is equal to negative s raised to the power 3 plus 3x minus 5. so here we are finding the image of negative one which means that negative 1 is in the domain, then we have to find its corresponding image in the codomain. I hope that is clear, right? So to find the image of negative 1, what you have to do is that you have to find f of negative 1. You see, this is the function. So f of x is given as this. So to find the image of negative 1, you need to find f of negative 1. That is f into bracket negative 1. So we are going to replace x with negative one since we are finding the image of negative one so in a way this is what we mean we have negative one here so negative one is here now negative one is mapping onto a certain image that we want here negative one is mapping onto a certain image x that we want here now this is the function that is helping us to find that image so all that we need to do is that so all we need to do is that we need to put negative one into this relation into this relation here sorry we have to put negative one into this rule or this formula here and we are going to get the image the corresponding image of negative one so to find the image of negative one we say that we find f of negative one if you are finding f of negative one which means that we are replacing every x we see with negative one so it's going to give us f of negative 1 will give us negative 
then we bring our bracket since this is a negative negative one exponent three plus three into bracket negative one which here is x so you bring negative one minus five now let's proceed negative one exponent three will give us three so negative sorry negative one exponent three will give us negative one so this is going to give us negative one minus one and that is going to be positive one then three times negative one will give us negative three then minus five so this is going to give us one minus three minus five and that is going to give us minus seven so what this means is that if you have negative one then you process negative one using this rule or this formula you are going to get an image of negative one so the image of negative one under f of s is negative seven i hope this is clear let's move on to the next example a function is defined by f of x mass 2 2x minus 3 on the domain negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 find the range of the function find the range of the function now when the function is given to you in this form we change f is such that f is to x you change that into f into bracket x then whenever you, after you've done that the arrow sign will change to an equal to sign then we have the function here so 2x minus 3 so whenever you are being given this to work with it we change f is to x into f into bracket x then you change the arrow sign to an equal to sign then the function will be given remember that what we have here is the same as this so we have f of s is equal to 2x minus 3 and we are saying that this is the definition of the function this is the map this is the rule of the function this is the formula of the function and this function is given on the domain these are members in the domain negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 find the range of the function remember that in the first video we explained what the range is we said the range is the set of possible images in the codomain what that means is that we have to find the members in the codomain so all this question is all that this question is telling us to do is that these are members in the domain so we should find members in the codomain so when you have negative 2 in the domain what will it give you in the codomain if you have negative 1 in the domain what will you get in the codomain if you have 0 in the domain what will, what will you get in the codomain if you have 1 in the domain what will you get in the codomain and if you have 2 in the domain what will you get in the codomain so we have to find the image of negative 2 image of negative 1 image of 0 image of 1 and image of 2 we know that to find the image of negative 2 is going to be we are going to say that when x is equal to negative 2 if x is equal to negative 2 then we are replacing x here with negative 2 so we are going to find f of negative 2 f of negative 2 is going to give us 2 into bracket minus 2 minus x since we are replacing x with minus 2 and this will be the same as 2 times minus 2 give us minus 4 we have minus 3 here minus 2 minus minus 4 minus 3 will give us minus 7 so you found the image of negative 1 then you move ahead and find the image of you find the image of negative 2 sorry you go ahead and find the image of negative 1 to find the image of negative 1 we say that when x is equal to negative 1 we are going to have f into bracket negative 1 which means we are finding f of negative 1 and this is going to give us 2 into bracket minus 1 minus 3 2 times minus 1 will give us minus 2 minus 3 so we are going to have minus 2 then minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 will give us minus 5 so the image of negative 1 under this function is negative 5 we move ahead and find for 0 remember we are finding the range so we find all possible images so we find all the elements in the codomain so zero when x is zero we are going to find f of zero it's going to give, you, give us two times zero or two into bracket zero then minus three this will give us zero minus three and we are going to have negative three 
we move ahead and find f of 1 or when x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 we are going to have f of 1 and that will give us 2 times 1 minus 3 that will be 2 minus 3 and that is going to give us negative 1 we find when x is equal to 2 we are going to find f of 2 is going to be 2 times 2 then minus 3 is going to give us 4 minus 3 which is 1 so from here we can see that we have found f of negative 2 we got negative 7 we found f of negative 1 we got negative 5 we found f of 0 we got negative 3 we find f of 1 we got negative 1 we found f of 2 and we got positive 1 so the image of negative 2 is negative 7 the image of negative 1 is negative 5 the image of 0 is negative 3 the image of 1 is negative 1 and the image of 2 is 1 so we can see that therefore the range is negative 7 negative 5 negative 3 negative 1 and 0 these are the set of possible images of the the domain under the given function let's move on to the next example the image of a function defined by f of x giving us 2x plus 5 is 15 find x now let's look at this very well this time we are not being we have not been given the elements and we have to find the image is the other way around we have been given the image so we have to find the element producing the image i hope that is clear instead of you see in the previous examples we have we are always been given the function then we have been given the element to find the image this time the image has been given to us so we are supposed to find the element producing that image as i said when if you have the function in this form you change f is to x into f into bracket x we change the arrow sign to an equal to sign then we have 2x plus 5 as we have here now we are saying that this whole function what we have here 2x plus 5 is 15 a certain element is given as if we replace x with a certain element it changes the whole thing to 15 now what is that element producing that result so when, if that happens what you have to do is that you have to equate what we have here to the image so we equate f of x to the image because what the question is telling us that there is a certain value here or there is a certain element here if you replace that x with that element you are getting 15 what is that element so we think that finally f of s is going to give us 15 we know that that same f of x is 2x plus 5 so if f of s is 2x plus 5 and f of x is giving us 15 then we can equate these two so we can equate 2x plus 5 to 15 from here we can make s the subject so we bring 5 here that's going to give us 2x into bracket 5x minus 5 15 minus 5 if you watch the video on solving linear equations you understand how this is being done here so this is going to give us 2x into bracket 10 we divide both sides by x and we are getting 5 so what that means is that 5 is the element that is producing the image 15 so if you we, we have x to be 5 let's try and find f of 5 and see if you find f of 5 it's going to be f into bracket 5 here so we replace x with 5 it's going to be 2 times 5 which is 10 plus 5 and that will give us 15. so under this function 15 is the image of 5 so the image was given to us and we have now found the element to be 5. so in the previous examples we have been given the element and told and then we are told to find the image in this example we have been given the image and we have been able to find the element i hope this is clear let's look at the final example given that f of x is equal to ax plus b find the value of a and b if f of 2 is equal to 4 and f of 4 is equal to 10. so here we have been given the element we have been given the rule or the formula is ax plus b 
Now we are being told to find a and b, which are the constants. And in able to do that, we are being told that f of 2 is 4 and f of 4 is 10. So we can use these two information, these two information that we have here to find a and b. So let's begin with the first one. We know that f of 2 is 4. We have been given f of 2 is 4. So we can also find f of 2 here in this general rule that has been given us. Then we equate that to 4 and see if we can find f of 2 has been given to us as 4. So let's try and find f of 2. If you find f of 2 here, which means that you replace x with 2, right? This is going to give us 2a times 2, which stands for x here, then plus b. And this is going to be 2a plus b. Now, we know that f of 2 is 4. We have also been able to find f of 2 as 2a plus b. So we can equate 2a plus b and 4. So we can say that 2a plus b is equal to 4. So this is simple, right? The question told us that f of 2 is 4. We have also been able to find that f of 2 from this rule or this formula that f of 2 is the same as 2a plus b. So if f of 2 is 2a plus b and at the same time f of 2 is 4, then we can equate 2a plus b to 4. We are going to call this equation 1. Whenever you see this, you start to think of simultaneous equation. Let's move on to the next part. We know that f of x is equal to a x plus b. The second information that was given to us was that f of 4 is 10. So let's try and find f of 4 from the general rule here. From the general rule, f of 4 will give us a times 4 plus b. Since this time, x is 4. And this is going to give us 4a plus b. Now, f of 4 is 10. And at the same time, f of 4 is 4a plus b. So, it means that we can equate 4a plus b to 10. So, we have 4a plus b is equal to 10. So, now, this will be equation 2. So, we have equation 1. We have equation 2. So, we can solve these two. Since we have simultaneous equations in two variables. So, Let's try, let's solve this by using the method of solving simultaneous equations. For the sake of this example, I'm going to use the elimination method. If you watch the video on solving simultaneous equations in two variables, you will see that there are other methods to also solve in this. And if you watch that video, you understand how to solve simultaneous equations. In that video, we took a lot of examples on solving simultaneous equations, so you see how this is done. Now, I'm going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. We've done a lot of this in the video on simultaneous equations, so I encourage you to go and watch that video too. So, equation, two minus, equation 1 minus equation 2 is going to give us 2a minus 4a plus b minus b equal to 4 minus 10. And this is going to give us minus 2a is equal to minus 6. We divide both sides by minus 2 and a will give us 3. So we have found a to be 3. We need to find b. So I'm going to substitute a into the first equation here. So we, have, we know that 2a plus b is equal to 4, but we have found a to be 3. So we, I replace a with 3. That, that will give us 2 times 3 plus b is equal to 4, which will be 6 plus b is equal to 4. So b will give us minus 2. So from this, we have been able to find a to be 3 and minus 2. So all that you need to do is that look at the function that has been given to you, look at the rule that has been given to you, then follow the principles that we used in this video. And be able to solve questions like this thank you so much for watching this video pick more examples on solving questions under functions and try your hands on them solve more if you have any problem interact with me on my social media handles and i'll help you to understand this very well see you in the last video on function relation mapping and functions where we will consider how to find numbers
or how to find values that makes a, a function undefined. Bye-bye.